Did you know that by tapping your smartphone screen to send a text message, you're connecting to a world of instant communication that deserves etiquette as refined as a dinner at the White House? In an age where a message can be sent in seconds and is almost always read immediately, the rules of the game have changed. Remember Jackie Kennedy Onassis, who was not only the epitome of elegance and decorum, but also understood the importance of every detail in communication, something we at Lucrative Elegance take seriously. Who hasn't found themselves thinking twice before sending that important text? Whether to a coworker, a new professional contact, or even a crush, the ability to communicate through text messages has become as essential as knowing how to dress for an important meeting. For instance, remember the episode of The Big Bang Theory, where Sheldon Cooper insists on finding the perfect emoji to avoid giving the wrong impression in his message? Even in humor, the importance of choosing the right words and symbols in our messages is clear. But we're not just talking about selecting emojis, we're discussing maintaining impeccable professionalism, that our icons of elegance, like Anna Wintour and Carolyn Bissett Kennedy, displayed masterfully in every gesture and word. In times where digital communication dominates, it's essential to discuss and understand the etiquette behind the text messages we send. It's not just about what we say, but how and when we say it. And now, as we navigate these new social and professional rules of messaging, I invite you to subscribe to the channel activate the notification bell and leave a like so you don't miss any details on how to keep your communication as elegant as your presence. Join me, Carol, and let's discover together how to turn every text message into an opportunity to reflect our elegance and respect for others, ensuring that our first impression, even if digital, is always impeccable. How do you present yourself in a text message? It seems simple, right? But you'd be surprised how often this is overlooked, causing confusion or even wrong impressions. Think of Coco Chanel, who never overlooked the precision and elegance in every detail. If she lived in our digital era, she would certainly send text messages starting with a clear and direct introduction like, Hello, this is Coco Chanel. Even something as basic as starting your messages with a simple, Hello name, this is Carol, establishes context immediately and avoids any misunderstanding about who is on the other side of the conversation. Moreover, the timing of your message also speaks volumes about your respect and consideration for the recipient. Imagine sending a message at three in the morning to Anna Wintour. Believe me, that would hardly be seen as elegant or respectful. It's crucial to respect conventional business hours from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. unless it's an emergency. Outside these hours, your messages may be perceived as an invasion of the recipient's personal life, something our beloved Grace Kelly would never approve of. And the way you write your messages? The language used in your messages should be as polished as the outfit you would choose for an important meeting. A professional tone and careful choice of words are crucial, especially in the workplace. Remember that scene in Scandal, where Olivia Pope handles crises with her precise and direct communication? That level of clarity and professionalism should also reflect in your text messages, ensuring that every word conveys respect and competence, just as our icons of elegance taught us with their impeccable behaviors. In the era of rapid messages, conciseness is your best ally. Imagine if Jackie Kennedy, always so elegant and precise in her communication, were to send a text message. Surely it would be brief and to the point, with no unnecessary details or roundabouts. This care in formulating your messages demonstrates respect for the other's time and ensures that your communication is clear and effective, avoiding misunderstandings. Reviewing before sending a message is crucial. Think about how many times a simple typing error or a tone misinterpreted could cause unnecessary discomforts. Just as you wouldn't leave the house without a final look in the mirror, take a moment to check your message before sending it. This can prevent you from unintentionally becoming the center of attention for an avoidable mistake. Remember our channel, Lucrative Elegance's maxim about style. Every detail counts, and this applies perfectly to sending a text message. It's vital to practice reviewing your messages before sending them, and I myself learned this the hard way. Once, when inviting my cousin to join me for a live session with a group of friends, the autocorrect changed live to love. Yes, you heard right, I invited my cousin to make love with me. It was a moment of pure embarrassment and laughter among friends. But it taught me an invaluable lesson about the importance of checking each word before pressing the send button. 
The simple habit of reviewing can truly save you from embarrassing situations and keep your communication as impeccable as your style. Emojis and text messages in the workplace can be a minefield if not handled with care. Imagine, for example, trying to channel the sophistication of Jessica Pearson from suits in your professional communication. She would likely think twice before inserting a winking face or a heart in a message to a fellow lawyer. In many sectors, the use of emojis can indeed be perceived as unprofessional or even childish, potentially distorting the original intent of the message or worse, conveying a completely incorrect tone. Delicate topics or sensitive information should never be discussed via text messages. There's a story that circulates in Hollywood about a major film negotiation that nearly collapsed due to a misunderstanding caused by a poorly crafted text message. Complex issues require nuances and understandings that simply cannot be adequately conveyed in a few characters. Therefore, as a golden rule, these conversations should be reserved for face-to-face -face meetings or, at the very least, email communications where it is possible to elaborate more detail and ensure the appropriate tone. Using slang or abbreviations in text messages within a professional context is a practice that should be avoided at all costs. Imagine if Harvey Specter from Suits, known for his eloquence and respect, started using tie instead of thank you in his official communications. It seems out of place, doesn't it? In the workplace, it's essential to maintain formal and careful language. Opting for complete words and avoiding abbreviations conveys professionalism and respect for the message, recipient, ensuring that the communication is received with the seriousness it deserves. Excessive messaging, popularly known as spamming, can be both annoying and counterproductive, like a scene from The Big Bang Theory where Sheldon persistently knocks on Penny's door repeating her name. Sending multiple unanswered messages can frustrate and alienate the person on the other side. As a general rule, if you've sent one or two messages and still haven't received a response, it's prudent to wait until the recipient resumes the conversation. This practice respects others' space and time as well as preserves the dignity and efficacy of your communication. When it comes to urgent situations, relying on text messages can be a risky choice. Imagine a critical situation where Carolina Herrera needed to resolve an immediate problem in the production of one of her famous collections. Do you think she would rely on a text message? Probably not. In moments of urgency, a phone call or a face-to-face -face conversation are much more effective. This ensures that the message is received and understood immediately, avoiding delays that could be crucial. It's also important not to assume that just because someone owns a smartphone, they are available to respond at all times. Modern etiquette teaches us to respect the time and space of others. Expecting colleagues or acquaintances to instantly respond to every message is unrealistic and can be seen as invasive. Just as you wouldn't expect Olivia Pope to be available at every second, the same respect should be applied in your digital interactions. Cultivating patience and understanding towards others' availability alleviates pressure on others and builds more respectful and enduring relationships. By mastering the art of etiquette in text messaging, you are enhancing your digital communication and elevating the perception others have of you, whether in a professional or personal setting. Today, we reviewed how to properly introduce yourself in your messages, the importance of maintaining formal language, avoiding emojis in professional contexts, and the necessity of being concise and clear. We also talked about the prudence of reviewing your messages before sending and being mindful of the timing of these messages. And now, a question for you. Which of the tips we discussed do you think will make the biggest difference in your daily communication? Comment below, I'd love to hear your experiences and insights. If you enjoyed this video and want to delve even deeper into etiquette and elegance, be sure to watch the video, Five Modern Etiquette Rules You Need to Know. And if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to the channel and leave a like, so you don't miss any content that can transform the way you communicate and present yourself in the world. If you have plans to travel and want to do so with maximum elegance, check out my ebook, be elegant while traveling. Global etiquette for the sophisticated traveler. You'll find the link to it in the first pinned comment below. In it, I share secrets and tips for you to stand out as a globally sophisticated traveler. Remember, elegance begins with small gestures and conscious choices. So why not start with the messages you send? 
Let's continue to refine our style of dress and also our style of communication. See you in the next video.